Hi, welcome everyone. In this today's video, we are going to learn to write a Verilog program for 2 to 4 decoder realization using NAND gates only. So this is for HDL lab, electronics and communication engineering. So myself, Muhammad Ali, I'm working as an assistant professor at Mysuru Royal Institute of Technology, Mandia. So first, we need to know what is a decoder, how it works. So in 2 to 4 decoder, we have two inputs and four outputs. As shown in this diagram, we can see here A0 and A1 are inputs and D0, D1, D2 and D3 are outputs. So if the inputs are 0, 0, if both the inputs are 0, 0, we'll get the output at D0 as 1. So we'll get uh, 1 at D1 when A1 is 0 and A0 is high. And if we will get D2 high when we have A1 is 1 and A0 is 0. For D3 to go high, we should have both A1 and A1 high values. So fine, we'll see the truth table for this. So if both the inputs A1 and A0 are 0, 0, we'll get the output at D0. For 0, 1, we'll get the output at D1. For 1, 0, we'll get the output at D2. And for 1, 1, we'll get the output at D3. So this is the logic diagram using gates. So here we'll have A0 and output of this NOT gate will be A0 bar. That is negation of this A0. A1 also we have this A negation. So for this we have written a logic diagram. So here the question is we need to realize this decoder using NAND gates. So we can realize this using this NAND gates. We have taken A0, A1 inputs. So for that we will get the outputs D0, D1, D2 and D3. So in between that we have outputs of the gates of NAND gate. So here we have a NAND gate. So this NAND gate acts as an inverter. So this NAND gate acts as an inverter for A1 inverted output for A0 inverted output. So here at this point S3, S4, S5, S6 will get the decoded values but it will be in the complemented form so that's why we will complement it once again such that we'll get the outputs in this form. So these gates acts as the inverter. So This is the logic diagram for decoder using NAND gates only. Now we'll write this decoder using this Xilinx software in Verilog HDL language. So we'll go to file and click new project and we'll create a project with the name decoder. So we'll see for the location where I am saving my project. So we'll click on next. So we'll look for this family Spartan 6 and we'll have the simulator iSIM simulator. So we'll click on finish. Now we'll go with project new source and we'll create a Verilog module with the name decoder. So here we have this default module with the name decoder. So here we'll define the names as per our logic diagram. So we have two inputs A0 and A1 and four outputs D0, D1, D2 and D3. We will declare the ports output D0, D1, D2, D3 inputs A0 and A1. Now in between this we have signals. 
as S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5, S6. Right. So, we will declare all these signals as a wire. So, we will write the code uh, in terms of gate level abstraction. All the gates are NAND gates. So, we will take NAND gates. NAND gate N1 for this we have outputs and inputs so we will see what is the NAND gate 1 output output is S1 and the inputs are A1 both the inputs are A1 so we will give S1 as output and A1 comma A1 both the inputs are A1 next for NAND N2 we have input output as S2 and inputs are A0 and A0. S2 is an output, A0 and A0 both are inputs. Like this, we will write for all the NAND gates. So, as per this diagram, we have written the code for this decoder. So, now we will save this file and we will check for the syntax error. So, we will click on this synthesize and double click on check syntax. So, if you have any errors, it will show that errors. So, here it is showing that we do not have any errors it has been completed successfully now we will write the simulation for simulation code for this program we will go for project select new source and now we will select for Verilog test fixture and we will give a name decoder test select next next and finish so it will open a file of very log file it will open a very log file with the name decoder test so here in that we have instantiated decoder file our design file so now we will give values for a0 a1 as per this truth table So we have given the values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So in between these we have given 100 nanoseconds delay. So we will check for this. So we will select the simulation and we will click on this decoder test and check for behavioral check syntax. Now we will click on this behavioral simulate behavioral module so it will open this iSIM simulator in this we can verify using this waveforms so we will click on zoom to full view and we can see all full waveforms for all the combinations so here we will check that for A0 and A100 we will get the output at D0 for this 01 we will have the output at D1 for 1, 0 we will have the output at D2, for 1, 1 we will have the output at D3. So now uh, we have realized this 2 to 4 decoder using only NAND gates. So we will do the some other programs in the next videos. Thank you.